Monday, 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 Monday. Oh my gosh, it's not wet, it's not rainy. It's kind of grey. So it's not that bad. And I will take it as the perfect way to start my day. It is a Monday, it is a fresh new week, and I am feeling good. We're stocking ourselves up with the good stuff this morning with Rita Bix and honey. And not just any honey, super honey. And before you go judging me, this is an absolutely killer combination. Honestly, try it and you can thank me later. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Now there's no messing around this AM because I am going back and forth with Con who's helped build all the side men's like gaming setups because we're in discussion about building mine. And oof, would I like to get this ball rolling. Now, one step at a time, because first and foremost this week, we are going to be working on this, which is currently in the back of my garage, but is soon to transform into a brand new laundry room. Image on screen. Wow, would you look at that? Which my girlfriend is going to love because she's asked me for the longest time to put a washer and dryer in here. And I've always refused because if I just put it there at the back of the garage, it is ice cold and freezing in here. So instead, we're going to kick it out with a false wall, insulation, new sockets, new work surfaces. And again on screen, it's going to look pretty sweet. And the work for that starts tomorrow because the electrician's coming around to do a first fix. And once that's done, we can get started with this. We're well and truly getting shit done. Hang on a second. Is that my little dude? Is that my little dude? Good morning! Good morning, little dude. And away! <laughs> now this better not backfire and get us in trouble, but Andy! Good eye, mate, how you doing? Yeah, sorry about the massive cardboard again. We've killed another 50 trees. Now, don't beat us up because we didn't pick it, but someone sent you this to the PO box and I'm not too happy with it. Well, don't you go flying up. Where are you going there, you? Right, you can give it him. Right, this hat's for you. And it actually says something I'm not happy about. It should say, "World, do you just throw up on me? Wait, you've absolutely just chundered on me. It actually says, world's okayest gardener. And that's not acceptable, is it? Not really. No. World's greatest. World's greatest. I think we're going to have to change that, Alfie. Just like I'm going to have to change my top after you've chucked up on it. Better. And we better make this bed. Because how do you expect to take over the world if you can't be bothered to make your own bed? Beautiful. Now, you know what? It is actually a really nice day comparatively to the last few. So I reckon we should make the most of it. I'm grabbing my GoPros. I'm grabbing my mounts. And we're getting them on this thing. No idea how this is about to look, or this, but we're gonna give it a go and hope for the best. All right. Woo! The sauciness of this. Right, I'm gonna try my best to do a bit of a picture in picture here. Um, it might end up looking like a bit of a potato, so sorry about that. I tried. Usually I reverse off the drive without even looking, but look at this, there's bloody mums and babies everywhere. I'm so glad I've just seen these guys. Look at this. The, the cow squad. <laughs> the cow squad. Oh my god. You guys. Don't talk about us, are you? you are. No, no, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Mum goals. Oh my gosh. Right. As I was saying, I have no idea how this footage is going to look, but that GoPro in the background is wobbling all over the place. So I think I'm already going to have to pull over after I get to the petrol station and just mount it up at the back because it is like this. And this is why we do test filming. Okay, let's pit stop for some fuel, for some food, and to adjust that camera angle. I've got a quarter of a tank, but I reckon this will cost 66 quid. Oh dear. I was way off. <laughs> way, way off. By an entire 30 quid. Bleeding heck. And that was almost really awkward because uh, I forgot my wallet. Now I've bobbed back home because I couldn't see anything whilst I was driving. So I got my prescription sunglasses. Oh yeah. And I also got this. And for the sake of content, I'm going to remove the GoPro off that and put it onto that. Adhesive sticky surface onto carbon fibre bar. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know, but it was like it was meant to be because look at the shape of it. It was like it was designed for it. All right, we're we ready for a round two. Okay, let's try and get through the streets of Gyrax safely and soundly. Don't you love how I pull onto the road straight away and this just road works, but we're going to get out of the little village and we're going to head up towards Snake Pass, which is just a gorgeous place to drive. It's two o'clock right now, so I shouldn't have to deal with a lot of traffic, but there's usually a lot of trucks that take like freight up and down that road over into Sheffield. So, hey, could get lucky and have an empty road or uh, we could be stuck behind a truck. So <laughs> let's find out. You have got to be kidding me. I'm about to just do a quick lap up and down the motorway to warm up my tires and my brakes. And there's rain specks appearing on my dashboard. No! Oh, it's just 
literally as sunny as it could possibly get in front of me and I'm worried that the way I want to go behind me is going to be rain clouds and glum. So when we get back on the slip road here and head back up this motorway, we're about to find out. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I didn't tell you guys. Um, I actually rang uh, a track day company that runs all the track days uh, at the local place near me called Alton Park. And I spoke to these guys and if scheduling's available, I might try and see on Saturday, so during the Mega Mammoth Monday vlog for your guys, um, I might actually be going off doing a bit of a one-on-one -on -one personal track day training day. Um, so actually getting all these GoPro angles uh, ready now will be a really, 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 really good shout. I know for a fact I could do with some of them um, like GoPro extended life or whatever batteries that guy's flying. So I'm just gonna let him go. Go mate, get your foot down, don't bother. Um, because then that way I don't have to constantly worry about switching the batteries. Because these, I've only been filming for like maybe 10 minutes and I'm already on 70% battery from 100. But are you ready? Let's get those tyres warmed up, baby! absolutely binned off doing the rest of the snake pass when you get stuck behind a convoy of vehicles like that you're going absolutely nowhere so we're going to head up into this valley here which is absolutely gorgeous and with the sun like this oh it should be stunning but would you just look at that view oh my goodness me absolutely gorgeous i'm going to check the gopro footage to see how potato it's looking and if you guys like what i'm attempting here then leave a like rate leave some comments and some feedback and um, we'll see where we can go from there. Okay, I've changed the camera angle a bit, so it's a bit more zoomed in. I was hoping to go wide to get the view, but because of like the overexposure and how small the actual windscreen is, you don't actually see anything out of it. So hopefully this is a little bit better. Let me know in the comments down below, but um, we're gonna give this a go and hopefully not get stuck behind any traffic. I don't see anyone pulling off from that junction there. And I've not seen anyone do that for a while, so we should be clear for a nice old drive now. Wish me luck. Nope. 
listen to it that was such a good drive honestly as i just pulled in then tractors were going up there and all sorts like the perfect timing to get on that road and enjoy the drive like look at where i am it's absolutely stunning and you were incredible i found a pretty cool place here peak view shepherd hut i think like you could kind of like go and do a bit of like camping glamping up in some huts and look at the view you'd have to do it with absolutely stunning but okay i think that's enough car shenanigans for today it is actually nearly three o'clock now and this road is getting busier and busier by the minute so i'm gonna head back home before i get stuck in traffic but it would be rude of me to not have one more before in my life oh, what size is yours is it oh very nice mate oh wicked well enjoy the ride yeah yeah you too mate ride safe ride safe oh fucking hell that does sound good very nice all right i've given those bikers a bit of space and oh wow, i'm so glad i just cleared my windscreen because it's now filthy again <laughs> there you go look at this this is the snake pass drive nothing in front of you it's just mega absolutely mega love it look at that look at that yes that is what it's about that right there is what it's about man you, you feel like you, you, you feel like you're playing like balls or a video game it's just stunning such a nice road such a nice day for it thank you to the the weather gods you came in clutch for me there Oh, so clutch. Look at this. All these holes in the walls are where people have crashed through them. Like whether they've been on ice or it's been wet or they're just going too fast. It's a dangerous bloody road, this, that's for sure. And there you go. That's pretty much the end of the run. And it looks like we're pulling up to the pearly gates of heaven. Them clouds are stunning. And good timing. It actually is now raining. We're in a rain cloud. So, yeah, good drive. Really enjoyed that. Uh, time to head on home. 
Again, if you like the car content, guys, do me a favor, leave a like rating. Click subscribe if you're new around here, because the, the better this weather gets, um, the better the content's gonna get, because we're gonna be going doing some track days and meeting with some YouTubers for some collabs. So let me know in the comments down below who you'd love to go on a bit of a cruise with. I'm thinking Shmi and Matt Armstrong, we get together and we absolutely send it. You're done good, kid. You're done good. Time to be a little less inconspicuous. With me normal specs. Oh, and whilst we're here. Two birds, one stone. She's gonna feed me, so at least I can do to make her feel happy. Bagels acquired. Peanut butter obtained. And could someone let me know in the comments down below if that's okay for me to like eat in a healthy manner? Or is it just packed with sugar? Because that's my favorite. And then I'm gonna get some reloads for my meat feeding helmet. Sorted. And I came in for one thing. At least she'll be happy. Home time. Ah! Bye bye! Hello there! Little dude! <laughs> I can't wait for the day that I can take him out in this. Look at you! Hi there! Do you recognise who this is? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I was wearing my sunglasses. Do you want to try them on? Do you want to try my sunglasses? Yeah, cool, dude. Oh, he's sicking. I got something for you as well. Give me one second. I really did pick the day for it, didn't I? Freaking hell, it's gorgeous. I bring you all the flowers because all your flowers are dead. <laughs> All your flowers were dead inside, so I thought I'd bring you these, and he had some really nice ones. Again, people don't believe me, but look, Tesco's are so good, and they're honestly so cheap, like these little bouquets. Three quid, bargain. Sack being inside, I'm going out again. He's, oh, it's just stunning. Don't look into the light, little jelly man. Oh, have I just dropped? Yeah, I've just dropped his uh, sick muslin cloth, so if he throws up, it's going all down my syndicate original. But everything you can see here, Alfred, will one day be yours. I hope you always keep up with my... Stupid shenanigans. I think it's definitely a Cassell gene because I get it from my dad. And when you think, should I do this? Because it's kind of stupid. You go, what would dad do? And then you do it. <laughs> I love my boy. Have I told you I love you today? You think so? I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm so freaking happy. I was stuck in traffic and was like, I'm starving. Mm. Are you enjoying the sunshiny day? <laughs> you look so picturesque. You are picturesque, aren't you? <laughs> right, you and me are going down into the boys' den. Tell iRobot to clean downstairs. Derek does not know about the downstairs. Bloody hell, Derek! Fine, should we try this one again? Tell iRobot to clean basement. Okay. There we go. Look at him looking at it like, what is going on? Right, Derek, you tidy up whilst we go play darts. Oh, and look how beautiful this view is to play to. Oh my goodness me. Stunning. It's almost as if I planned it. And I didn't. I completely forgot where the sun set. But that's worked out brilliantly. Right, Alfredo. We're going to try a little three dart challenge now whilst you suck your thumb. And we're going to try and see... How many times I can hit 20, double 20, so triple 20, are you okay? Oh, he's so tired, honestly, he's so exhaustedly tired, he just needs to sleep, like, I can feel his body weight, like, falling asleep on me, so I'm doing a quick three dart challenge, because if I stay here doing around the board and it takes me 10 minutes, it'll just kick off, so we're going to throw three darts, and we're going to try and see if we can hit 20, double or triple, are you ready? Missed. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a spark on the floor. Can we do a zoom in replay on that, thanks? Yep, they bloody absolutely went up in flames, but all right, last dart, can we hit a single 20? I think I need to retire. I was just about to come and see you and ask if he's asleep. Is he? No way. Is he actually full on fast asleep? Yeah. Oh no. Oh. It was an eye then. No, he's asleep. I just told them lot, I was like, he's exhausted and he just needs to fall asleep and lo and behold, look at him. Well done, Daddy. My ah, fucking hell, Daddy. You can't get on toes. That right there was nearly the start of the robot uprising. I honestly think he loves the white noise of Derek. Yeah, he loves my toothbrush as well. What a bloke. Oh, I come upstairs because Lydia sent me on a snack run. She was like, oh, your basement's rubbish. I was like, why? She went, you've got no snacks. I was like, yeah, that's how I'm staying thin. So I've been sent for a, a baby bell. Oh God, don't drop the Philly bell for you. Um, an Actimel. And she also wants some chore. Look, this is how good she is. This is why I buy her flowers. She makes them look so lovely. And the smell. 
Oh, it, it's something else, man. But out the snack door, I've picked her a Kinder Bueno. I just realized I gave no reason as to why I did that <laughs> face a minute ago. And it's because I'm just looking out of the window at that incredible sunset over Manchester. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I upgraded this phone. Just for that zoom on that sunset, it was so worth it. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. The chunky's still sleeping, and I brought you snacks. Thank you. In the window? Yeah. This child right now is a mood. And what else is a mood? Is getting the new vlog live on time for your faces and seeing that people seem to be loving it now i'm saying that with a bit of like shock in my voice because the video wasn't exactly the super mega long vlog that you guys are used to after a weekend because i usually film like my friday saturday sunday even though i'm not supposed to film a weekend but after friday was such a letdown with like the plans getting cancelled and i was making no progress i really thought like that vlog was going to be in the bin but hey it ended up being a 50 minute video and people seem to love it so honestly thank you to everyone who just watches the videos whether they're like five minutes ten minutes or 55 minutes. I appreciate you. It would seem Alfredo has moved and I'm going to assume Lydia's taking him upstairs unless he's gotten Derek and disappeared. But whilst I had a second, I decided to stack out the fridge and oh my gosh, is it looking good. I did dumb goof though because I thought these were zero sugar monsters and if you actually read it, 500 milliliters of which sugars is 56 grams of sugar. I don't think I'm going to be drinking any of those anytime soon. Especially when I'm trying to burn off my boobs. But the fridge is looking stacked and I'm going to find my son. Fee, fa, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a reptile son. Kevin, can you explain why your food is on the ceiling? Mm -hmm. It's just come to my attention that down here is so dirty from all like the stuff off the stairs and the crap from the crickets that we need to grab Kevin and have him map out this room because for some reason when I asked him to map out the basement, he didn't go over this and just kind of like saw it as a ledge and left it, but we need him to map this out. So when I shout out the smart system to do the basement, he does the entire floor as long as the door is open. And I'm going to play on the side of caution, but I can't hear Lydia and I can't hear Alfie. So I'm guessing they might be napping. And I would be right. Well, at least one of them is. Because the other is on their mobile telephone device. <laughs> but Lydia's going to start cooking dinner soon, so we're good to make some noise. So Derek, explore my son. He's doing a mapping room, which is on screen now. Where he basically drives into every surface possible. Like, he'll bang into a wall, he'll bang into that. But after 10 minutes of him headbutting things, he will have learned the layout. And before I could even finish explaining, I just got this notification saying he's done. I found you. I thought you'd run off with Derek. What's with, what's with, what's with that bombastic sign? <laughs> he pulls the best faces, but he's awake now and mum's cooking dinner. What are we having? Oh, do we have salmon and noodles? Yeah. Or do we have um, some mackerel and mashed potatoes? Um, you, the mashed potato bit confused me a bit. I don't know, but I don't think anyone has smoked mackerel oh, and mashed potato. No, mashed potato, yeah. creamed spinach. <laughs> what a random combination. Sure. And an egg. Sure. And an egg. <laughs> Do that because I just want to see it. <laughs> Lydia, this smells so phenomenally good. I don't know if it is. What is that? Spinach. You've made spinach. Wow, I made it sound like you'd like grown it and then <laughs> made it by hand. Oh, no. oh, seriously, guys, this smells like 10 out of 10 good. I've made the table and look who's joining us. Hello in your little chair there. <laughs> I can't believe he's developed this much to be able to just sit upright like that. Little person. Hi, you having a nice time there? Oh, oh, what? Oh, wow. Okay. I see what you've done here. She's gone all out. So this is now, is it mackerel? Smoked mackerel mm -hmm. with mashed potatoes, not seaweed, what's it called again? <laughs> Literally just said it. Um, spinach. Spaghetti. Spinach. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> and mashed potato. Shing! Oh, yeah, you're proud of yourself there. Look at, look, oh, is it a good one? Heck yeah. Oh, I love smoked mackerel. My grandma used to make this and I loved it. Yeah, it's really good, babe. It's really, really, really good. Now let's try this whole mashed potato with fish thing. That's pretty good. 
<laughs> yep, spinny good. That spinach looks phenomenal. When have we ever had spinach? I don't know, but we should have had it sooner. All together. All together, yeah. yeah wow, all together. Wow. You, mm. you needed to trust the process. It's not that I didn't trust the process. It's just that the most random thing someone says, you want fit. Do you want fish with mashed potatoes? It's a bit like... Do you know what this is like? Like a bit of a deconstructed fish pie. Sure. Yeah. You know what? It is really, really, really good. Out of that entire dish, I only found three bones. Lydia, I'm giving you nine out of ten. I'm giving you a nine. Oh, and you might say, well, why not a ten? Do you know what I think would make it ten? One. Like a, a sauce. I don't know what I... I know we had the egg. The egg. Mm. But I feel like, just because I feel like my grandma used to make a sauce with smoke mackerel, could be really wrong. Is it smoke haddock or mackerel? mackerel. Smoke mackerel. Um, but also, I could eat ten times that amount of fish. Not because there wasn't enough, just because I freaking love it. Current situation. <laughs> love it. Now for something I don't love. And I don't know why I'm complaining because I bloody invented it and that is the triple threat challenge. And I'm going to put in detail what it is on screen now. Poof! An exercise that you do every single day for 30 days straight. Um, and just to mix things up and make it a bit spicier, I've decided that after week one, two and three, there's increments um, of 30%, again, with a triple, um, to the exercises. So for a full week, I've done the, the 10 push-ups, the 10 sit-ups and the minute of planking. I'm now going to increase it to 13, 13 and then 80 seconds worth of plank. So yeah, really not looking forward to this. The plank is the worst thing in the world because like, look at my arm there. I've actually got carpet burn from where I've been doing it. So should probably stop doing it on the carpet, but I'm going to get this in the box and this is going to be day eight of the triple threat challenge completed. Only 22 more to go. <sighs> Wow, I don't understand how I thought those 30% increases were a good idea. Flipping heck. The minute 20 second plank was brutal. Look at my elbow. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put like a yoga mat down or something to do that. But wow, yeah, that was uh that was intense. This is this is something I just decided to randomly do as a challenge to myself to see if I could do it for 30 days straight. But in my competitive nature, I was like, oh, I'll try and make it a little bit more difficult along the way. And that's me at week one doing the 30% increase of amounts and time. I can't even imagine the two-week mark or even the three-week mark. Like, sack that. I might have to throw that idea out the bin, but I'll give it my all and see if I can get it done. All I can say is this challenge got a lot more complicated mentally obviously physically but oh that mental thought of knowing that's to come well nasty <sighs> but we did it and for once i want to give you the phone to let you outro the video <laughs> all right there you go you've only had to deal with my shenanigans uh saying it nearly every day for like six years so take it lydia go steal the show Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed coming along on our day with us. We had a great <laughs> lunch. Um, if you did, like the video and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Ding dong that notification yeah. bell so that you can be notified when you want to see Alfie again. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Bye. PPS. Shadios. <laughs>